Hey anglers and anglerettes, we're off on another adventure, hopefully to catch a mess of crappie and in a fun and different way to do it. No live stuff, no, might not even use electronics at all. Well, won't that be nice? They're probably still in spawn. We're not gonna be casting the banks or anything. Just gonna be a fun way, you'll, you'll, you'll see. And uh, also going to uh, highlight uh, a guy that is really making his mark in the crappie industry. And uh, I think you're gonna like him. So I got four and a half hours ahead of me, uh, hopefully a decent meal and a good night's sleep and in the wonderful world of editing, we'll be right there on the lake and uh, we'll get this thing started, boy you say. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Come on and go with us, I hope you do. And welcome to another episode of the G3 Sportsman. Well, we have made it. We are in Southern Illinois, just across the river, about probably 12 miles south of Mount Vernon, Illinois. And we are on Rend Lake. And uh, it's an interesting lake, it's cool. It's got a lot of vegetation, and that's what we're gonna be doing to try to catch these crappie. And what these locals over here call the buck brush. And uh, we're gonna be dipping, and uh, can't wait to introduce you to my to my guest that we've got on there, like I said earlier, he's really uh, making his mark in the crappie world. So we've got a little boat ride ahead of us. Uh, we're gonna get into G3, take off across the lake, and uh, we'll get started with this thing right here in just a little bit. So glad you're tuned in. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you here in just a bit. Right now, let me get you introduced to our friend, co-host, and uh, the guy that's gonna be our tour guide today. And that is, and he's all bundled up, this is Andy Lehman. Is it Lehman or Lehman? I've Lehman. Never, okay. Well, we've got an interesting episode that we're gonna try to shoot today, and it's uh, in this buck brush. And Andy, you're from here. This yes. is your this is your home lake. My so, stomping grounds. So tell us just a little, briefly and then we'll get right to it what we're going to be doing okay we're going to be dipping in this we call it buck brush it grows basically all over the lake and um a lot of the crappies go in and spawn in it and a lot of lakes have it but a lot of lakes are also flood control so they drop it out of it in the spring we just have a natural spillway so when it gets up in there it stays in there so they they, they feel safe spawning in there and it'll be in there for weeks and we've had a lot of rain so it's a definitely a different way to fish. So we, we like doing it for about six weeks and then you move on to something else. So let's okay. go to the world. Well, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get started. We got buck brush right here. Wes will show you what that looks like. And we're fixing to get this thing going right now. Now I'm gonna try. And you can do it without like this well there you go huh i mean it took a while but i mean it did it took me a little while to get him but you figured it out okay <laughs> he's not real big but uh here i can make him look real big for the for the first crappie there you go first one a little bit small thank you sir you're a good teacher andy well <laughs> In the bushes, I like 11 foot or 12 foot, just depending on the situation. If they're nice, easy bushes and they're not too tall and you can get close to them, the 11 foot will work just fine. And we got, this one's rigged up with a slip cork. Um, kind of let the cork do the work for you. So it's about that deep, 16th ounce jig head, little fill cork. Basic simple rig. Just grab your excess line here in your hand and it's like a crane. You go straight down, straight in and straight out. You don't flip, you don't fish, you don't fish beyond your rod tip. And then I just sit there and count to five or ten. I'm impatient. 
and you, and you can't be too impatient. Here you gotta give them a chance to see it and find it. And I'll just pick it up and move it. You move it a foot, you know, because it's hard for them to find that bait in there. Um, you can give a little bounce. A little bigger. We're, we're gradually getting there, ain't we? There are, just baby steps. What's the uh, 10 inch, is that what they are? Um, it's actually a weird limit. You can keep 25 fish, but only 10 of them can be over 10. So a lot of people keep seven, eight inch fish, I don't. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Moving on up. Moving on up, okay. Well, all right. So now without a cork, you're gonna try one without. Yeah, it gets a little more, you gotta kinda of watch your depth, but you can move up and down in the water column, obviously better. Right, right, okay. But you've gotta be real, you can't do any of that flipping that, you know, you gotta just. Yeah, yeah. You just hold your hand here and you just feel it. You use an eighth ounce, cause it'll get down there better and you just drop it down in there and, and slow out as slow as you can go. All right, hit him. Right. Oh, there we go. Oh, Andy, Andy, Andy. Show that big girl off. Big old male. Is it, it is big male, isn't it? It's not been that easy. No, it's it's been the opposite of easy. We we've we've just had a little bit of difficulty locating some fish. So I finally told Andy, I said, why don't you go somewhere where there's no boat, there's no wind, and there's some crappie that want to bite. He goes, Oh well that's well, well heck, if that's all you want. Why didn't you just say something? Yeah. You know? So there you go. All right, that's that's a good that's a good fish. So here we go. GoPro, stop recording. All right. There you go. See how easy that is? Let's do that again. Well, there you go. I'd say that's that's a Wren Lake keeper, is it not? No. Is it not? No. That's not 10 inch? No. Bull um, crap. Ah. Let me see. Let me see. I bet you he is. Pretty close. And it's me, I get to hold it up here. <laughs> All right. Cool. Boy, he's got his girlfriend colors on. They're still spawning here, ain't they, Andy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they'll be in here. Those males will be in here till beginning of June almost. Huh. Okay. Yeah, they'll get, they'll start getting skinny and stressed. Slowly but surely, but we're gonna make this happen. I just want to talk about the, the my rods, ACC crappie sticks. Um, they came from Wren Lake. I, I guided out here. And I didn't have a rod that I really liked. I wanted plenty of backbone. I wanted them to be lightweight and sensitive. I wanted them to be able to pull fish out of this stuff, this buck brush, because it takes a lot of backbone to get even a pound crappie out of these bushes, much less a two pounder. So you've got to set the hook hard and you've got to yank and you've got to keep pulling. So you've got to have something with some backbone. You absolutely have to, because I mean, you can tell it's like a jungle in there. So that's how they got started, was down here fishing buck brush and thick stake beds and brush piles. So I guided down here for years and there wasn't a rod on the market that I liked really. So I just started my own company and years later, here we are, we're doing good. We're staying busy and keeping rods in stock and I get to fish with you guys. So it's, it's been a great experience and I love it.
here. How about that? Not big, but considered a keeper, wouldn't you think? Yeah. You make a sandwich. What'd you do different on him? Nothing. Just right spot, right time of day, I guess. We kind of returned to the scene of the crime. We started here. Yeah, we got no audio for some reason. What about me? Check, check. No, are your battery packs still full? Or do they have batteries? Probably dead. I've been running them all day. Y'all hush. Well, we came back to the scene of the crime where we started. And uh, Andy just pulled that one out. So uh, I hope we got it on the GoPro because uh, we don't have anything here. So our audio is good here. So anyway, we've got another one in there. We've circled around the lake about a half a dozen times. So we're back. So hopefully we can get in a couple more. So let's just see. It may be all GoPro now. But if it is, that's okay. We got a good picture. We got good sound. Got good company. Let's catch some more crappie. We can do it. GoPro, stop recording. Mr. Black crop or Mr. White crappie in his tuxedo. See, they're sitting in here all hung up and they're both sitting in here talking and I'm out here working. I'm trying to get me a fish. There we go. It's a, it's a slow bite though, isn't it? How methodical and how painstaking is that to get that bite? Okay, well, we're fixing to show you here. We're gonna put this fish up so we can take some pictures here a little bit. Wes is gonna get up here and we're gonna show you just how meticulous it is to get to thread this thing down through there and get these fish. So threading the needle. Threading the needles, that's exactly right. So and then you gotta get back out. Okay, this is what we have. Look at this. I mean, this is no different than you going outside, grabbing a pole with your line and your jig, and going out there in your shrubs, right there along the house, and go, okay, I'm gonna dip it through this hole right here. Not only get it down through there, but then try to pull it up. So well, yeah, then you gotta pull it up when there's a pound and a half fish yeah, on the end. Ex of it. Exactly. So you're just seeing the surface, but I guarantee you under the surface looks just like what you're seeing here. Oh, even worse. So you get a it's root wad. You get a little, I mean you could get over here on the edge or something like that, and you could do it, you know, pretty easy. And sometimes they'll when they're biting. You can drop it a foot from the outside and they'll, and they'll come out and get it. God, those are hard to get out of there. That's fun. <laughs> those are so fun to pull out of there. You got to just keep at it. Keep pecking in there. Even on a tough day. They're so pretty, you know, it, a lot of people would say, look at that black crappie. Yeah. Well, he, he's black, but he's actually a white crappie. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what's neat is catching a black male. Oh yeah. They get, they're just black, they're beautiful. What's the months that these fish, is it March, April, May or something in here? When I guided. Oh, I thought I had one. But I've just got a bush, go I ahead. I would not book trips until the second week of April, because that's when I knew they were gonna be in there, and then until end, end of May. So six weeks is, is your best shot. I could have sworn I heard a mosquito. Y'all ain't already got mosquitoes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go. I got a thready out of that. Oh, don't hang in that limb. Don't hang in that limb. There you go. Okay, man, they're so dark. Look at that. Beautiful, I love them. I mean, these are just carbon copies, man. I mean, they are just so, they are such good looking fish. Hope you guys got a little 
better idea of what we're doing. We didn't just slam them. I've lost more fish today than I've caught. Lost him again. This buck brush will break your heart. We caught quite a few small ones and we did catch a few keepers. So we had a big time, it was fun. Got to introduce you to uh, Andy. A lot of you probably already know him, but uh, check out the ACC crappie sticks. He's got baits now and some jig heads in the ACC crappie line. You can get online and you can find them. Hey, thanks a lot for uh, giving us your time and watching this. Uh, I don't know if you've learned too much, but uh, hopefully you've had as much fun as we have and maybe, maybe next time we'll do a little better, but uh, we, we certainly had a good time. So, hey, remember, keep what you can use, release the rest, and we'll see you somewhere next time right here on the G3 Sportsman. And make sure you follow us, like us, comment, all that on social media, and uh, we really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Thank you, Andy. Thank, thank you, buddy. I had a lot of fun. Me too.